out of the fairway bunker on the right-hand side. Perfect lie in the bottom of that bunker. And a wonderful shot. Look at that. Almost went in. Just misread it a little bit. Oh, man. On the FedEx Cup standings, but you can see he's down currently to 59th. Funny guy said the other day, changed all the shafts in his clubs this week. His caddy said to him, what's the worst that could happen? You could finish 69th or 70th? <laughs> That's a darn good shot right there. Specifically with that Evan Scholars Foundation. 15. And Billy Horschel from the right side of the fairway. I love it when a pro looks like that. This was a moment ago. Looks up and down and certainly it was online. Downhill par three that bunker just about 10 paces away from the hole and that is really well done. You see it moves downhill and if you read it properly an opportunity to just roll it in. What a play from Connors as he gets to two under par. 100 meters. I don't know if my math's right. That's pretty good. You're in the ballpark. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Talk about well played. Some JM's in the ballpark with the way he dialed it in. 253 after a drive of 340 plus. Fortunate break the kick down near the cart path. That's got it. This Sit one starts down. way out to the right, now turning over. This is going to clear that bunker. Go get him. Go get him, Bryce. Come back, ball. Come back. Come on, Bryce. Come on. Go get him. Here it comes. Here we go. No way. That left for Eagle for Bryson DeChambeau at 16. What a shot. Here is the defending FedEx Cup champion Dustin Johnson at the ninth. Also the defender of the BMW championship he was last year before John Rahm beat him in that playoff. And they knocked it off the stick. Dustin's won this event a couple of times. From the hillside, Harry Higgs getting some check on it. And bouncing it off the stick in the bottom many times. Harry Higgs here at the seventh after that beautiful chip in back at the sixth. And he stuffs one in here. Beautiful shot here at the seventh by Harry Higgs. Now Keegan. And Keegan 199 as well. Again from the left side it's a tougher angle because you really need to sort of challenge the right hand side. Oh how about this one. Oh my goodness. And he left it below the hole. K.H. Lee off to a fast start. Not a great drive at one, Justin, but how about this second? Yeah, ball way above his feet in the deep rough to a front left hole location. But from just 130, still soft conditions, just a beautiful wet shot. Earn his way into next week's Tour Championship inside the top 30 in the FedEx Cup points innings. A nice drive at two. How about his second at the par five? Yeah, nice bounce there just short of the green to get it back on line and reads it perfectly. And that sets up a tap in Eagle. Brooks Kepka's playing alongside him. Not a great drive, had to lay up. Here's his third at the par five second. 86 yards, throws it past this whole location, spins it back, uses the slope and almost knocks it in. Hill and then back uphill at the finish. Just a beautiful property. And McElroy had that wedge and it didn't even stay on the green. Putting it from the apron and he charts it. Like oh, I, what wedge? Like I said, he hit it. He left himself <laughs> in the perfect position to make birdie. <laughs> wow, what a start for McElroy. He's got six iron out. Wind feels like it's a little down and left to right. This is a good looking shot here. Oh, one of the best we've seen. It's the closest so far. And from the left, maybe that's why he's doing it. But you would think this could be too much. Oh, how about that? Wow. On to the green with a driver at five. 
Does it it's good. Rice in the shampoo. Does it again. Back to back Eagles for Deshambo. And suddenly the lead grows to three. Which is not the second time. It just might be something about his spin rate and the moisture in these fairways at the moment. But sending this one well out to the right. It's like he's got it read pretty well. Perfectly well. <laughs> and the wry little smile from Abraham answer. And this guy has a lot to do with that electric atmosphere. He is really got these people fired up. This from 94 yards. Good looking. Oh, what a shot. Really took the risk of landing that short of the flag, even short of the green. under round well make it seven under what a way to finish for Sam Burns good looking lie these have been some of the cleanest lies in fairway bunkers I mean usually PJ tour you get some pretty good lies wow what a great shot but you also see kind of the, the teeth mark of the rake some little bitty ruts I don't even see those here this week possibly to the right side This is on a good line. And good distance. That'll be a kick in for Jordan Speed. I do like it. He doesn't have that much of the fairway to go through. And then I think it's much easier to control with the putter from this distance. Ball should try to go a little to the right. Let's swing you all the way to the other side of the golf course now at 13, the par three. Si Woo Kim hitting his second at the par three. Oh, yeah. Siwoo. Si Siwoo Kim. Having a good day and needing to take dead aim. Make something happen, as we've mentioned, down the stretch. And he does. What a shot from Siwoo Kim. And has not gone at the green here on this 11th hole. 339 today. But he still might walk away. I was going to say might walk away with an eagle, but it's going to be a short bird. Now to another par three and another downhill one. Shane Lowry has not had the best of fortune here so far this week. Has had one birdie, just hasn't had a par. He's had a couple of others, a bogey and a double bogey. He's on the lower part of this green, putting up the slope right there, and then very flat plateau here in the back. Did he do it? Come on, Eric. Yes, he did. <laughs> Three birdies in the first five. Dropped a shot at six. Flag all the way back today at seven. And this one goes in. What a shot from the South African. Bold enough to take it all the way back to the flag. And he is rewarded with an eagle, too. Did he hit it? Yes, yes he, did. he did. And Cantley drops a birdie in at 14. He says, don't call me out ever again. <laughs> that was so good. And just a wedge to this front hole location. Perfect position off the tee. Only three players have hit driver here at 11 so far. Beautiful wedge shot, nicely controlled. Up and down, Garcia is in for sure. A bogey, it's a wait and see, but what a shot by Garcia to oh, end it. I told you he was a great bunker player when he was leaving those balls in the trap on five. Here is Van Royen, second at the 18th, 199 up the hill. Well, a clutch tee shot to get it in this fairway, a very demanding yeah. driving hole. This is playing 210 minimum. What a shot. Wow, Van Royen is showing you how to finish in his very first year on the PGA Tour. And another one. 
He did it again at the 72nd hole. Just drawing just a little left, little. actually right on it. Club 12 bombs. Oh. And that's why. He got it just right. What a shot. This is just sensational. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, oh, it's on a great pace. He just had a feeling he was due. There's no give up in this guy.